before shutting down in March of 2020, my next guest discovered a lump in her breast. Soon after she learned the scary diagnosis, um, she had a rare form of breast cancer. Ever since she's faced her battle head on with positivity and grace, and she says there's one man who's helped her stay strong through this ordeal, her UPS delivery driver. <laughs> He's what we and she call a good neighbor. Get it, Jesse. It's so good. Please welcome Allie and Al, everyone. Hello. Me, Shannon. Shannon, I'm so happy to be here with you. I I played with your Barbie dolls <laughs> when I was young. I and I, I mean, it's just like it's, it's come full circle. And I have to tell you, when I first learned about my diagnosis, I, my mom had breast cancer, but I didn't know anyone else. And so I just binge watched your Instagram. And before I shaved my head, I watched your video and it just really meant a lot to me and helped me kind of go public. Oh, so I just want you to know that, thank you for sharing your story. There you go. Yeah, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. It really means a lot. Oh, you're gorgeous and thank you. <laughs> Oh, that what is, an inspiration she is. I know, but see, and there's the powerful, so you were talking about social media can be a negative thing. It can also be a very powerful thing in yes. how we use it, people. Um, but but let's start, you know, with the most important thing. So how is your health today? How are you doing? Oh, Kelly, I feel so good. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I feel so good. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so grateful. Um, you know, I went through 16 rounds of chemo, which is intense. It's, yeah. it's exhausting. And... Um, and I finished my last one last week. Wow. And so I'm starting to, yeah. you know, yeah, things um, feel more like myself. Yeah. Um, and I'm so grateful because uh, we see that the, t the tumor is shrinking. Oh, it's, it's working. Yeah, so yeah. it's working. The chemo has worked. And, um, mm. you know, it's, it's so hard and, and tiring going through chemo. And I was always very boisterous and energetic and, and yeah. you know, and always had so much energy. And so when I started going through chemo, as you probably know, um, I lost that. And now I'm excited to- Which kind of, that's, a, that's horrible because it's your personality, it's, your, yeah. it's who you are yeah, to take absolutely. that light, you know, for what well, tried, it didn't. Um, but <laughs> well, can you take us back though? So how did, how did you and Al meet? Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, I think I can gather how you met. <laughs> I shop a lot, apparently. Um, well, actually, I, there was a knock on my door, and I opened it, and Al was standing there, <laughs> who is amazing, obviously, and I had to sign for a package, and I said, thank you so much for bringing my packages up, yeah. because... You know, I can barely open a jar of peanut butter or get a glass of water. So going up three flights of stairs. I live in New York. So I live on the third, um, I live in the three oh. stories. So going up and down the stairs a couple times a day, and because I couldn't go out into the public a lot, I had a lot of things delivered. And he would bring them up. And I said, this means the world to me that you're doing this. I know it seems small. Um, I have cancer, so it's just an extra little thing. And he said... I got you, I got you. We're gonna get through this because I had cancer too. And I was like, what? Yeah. What are the chances of that? Exactly. Yeah, and you, and you had had cancer, was it twice? Yeah, I had it twice um, in 2005. Um, I got diagnosed with uh, cancer, leukemia. Mm. I did a uh, round of chemo and things like that. I beat it, unfortunately came back again four years later mm. and I beat it again. Mm. So I'm 10 wow. years old. Wow. And I understand how the little things mean a lot to um You really get Alex. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't take much for me to bring it upstairs, but you know, she's great. She'll leave me little notes uh, with water, chips. Aww. And if she's not there, I leave her notes. Um, and I tell her, you know, she, she has great energy. And, and, and I know she has it, and she's great. Yeah, yeah it's I, great I tell to my, have that energy. Yeah, I tell my wife that I love, love delivering to her because her energy is... It's just great. So Some people have light. Yeah. 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 This is great too. Yeah. yeah. Well, light finds light. I, I agree. That's yeah. I, I agree. She's awesome. um, well, you say Al has been a huge positive force in your battle against cancer, right? Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. I mean, there's the physical part, you yeah. know, where he would bring the packages up. Um, and that was huge, you know, just because I didn't have to go downstairs to get them. But really, it was just the mental 
part of it. You know, I'm, when I got diagnosed, my, my um, mom and my sister, they live in Indiana, and they encouraged me to come stay with them so that they could take care of me, which of course, you know, you want your mom to yeah. take care of you. Um, but I had to think long and hard about it, and I had this incredible team of doctors in New York that knew my case so well, mm. and I just had to stay there. And so the best thing that could happen was having this person knock on my door who could check on me, who could you know, applaud for me, who could leave me little notes when I wasn't there, when I came back from chemo, and it would just be like, I hope you had a great day, and I kept them all. And I have this, um, this keep going wall. So when I go to bed and when I wake up, I can see the reasons to keep going. And I love that. Yeah, it's really important. And, and even emotionally, that's got to be helpful emotionally just to have somebody that knows what you've been through and oh knows. Oh gosh, yeah. yeah. I could, he would say, how is chemo today? How are you feeling today? And mm. I could be really real and honest and be like, I'm, I'm, I'm not having the best day. Or, oh, I feel great today. And he knew what it was like, yeah. you know, he knew what it was like. And, and he didn't survive it once, but he survived it twice. So here we have this living proof, and I could just open my door and... Um, at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. And see, you yeah. know, Al there. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was... Thank you. Al and Allie, this thank is you. a TV show, y'all. <laughs> so, Shannon, I have to ask you, what are some of the small gestures that have made a big difference in your journey that somebody's done that people didn't realize that might have been small to them, but it really mattered to you? I think... Um, the people sharing their own cancer journeys on my Instagram yeah. um, did a lot for me. I, I, you know, like maybe I did for you. Absolutely. It was the people sharing it for me because mm -hmm. it, was, it was people going through it who had gone through it, sort of letting me know that they were there for me, saying, hey, you know, like I posted a photo of during chemo and I got really sick and I had to get rushed and get IV and, you know, hydrated and everything else. And, they were like, listen, we've been through this. You're gonna be fine, you're gonna get through this. So I think all that sort of strength and that support um, really, really helped me. And again, it goes back to like, yes, yeah, social media can be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yeah. thing if used, the right, if used the right way. Yeah, beautiful connection, absolutely.